What's going on, everybody? Hope everybody's doing well. Welcome back to the show. I'm your host, man. It's the Wolf of Crypto here. You guys are tuned in to another episode of the Wolf of Crypto podcast. And uh, wow, wow. I'm going to say it one more time. Wow. So I actually, um, as of recent, let's just say I logged back into the uh, crypto matrix here. And sometimes when you're chasing those white rabbits and uh, you kind of get lost in time when, you know, time down there doesn't feel like you're spending too much time. And for those that have actually been in the space for a minute, uh, probably can relate to what I'm trying to describe here. And those that might be new to the space, you know, welcome. Um, You'll catch on as you go along. And uh, yeah. Uh, It looks like here it is airdrop hunting season. My goodness, uh, I was basically just searching Twitter, X, wherever the hell you want to call it nowadays. And of course, on my feed, I was seeing some Solana airdrops. Obviously, Solana was trending. And I got to say before I even kind of dive into this the overall market right now love to see it feel like there's a lot of opportunities right now um (laughs) and we've only obviously just begun but definitely feels like the tides are turning and we're kind of going back towards that uh good old 2021 market where the bull run was very very healthy but i want to get back to what i was saying as far as these airdrops in not just the airdrops but just kind of surfing and searching here and seeing how these Solana airdrops are trending you know some people have actually made some nice little baggies here uh, from participating and stuff like that and I was like it's been a minute man it's been a minute since I've even Got myself involved with airdrops. I'm pretty familiar with airdrops. Those of you that don't know, that might be new and have no idea what I'm talking about. Um, Airdrops are basically a way to get crypto. Uh, Most times, pretty much for the free. Um, Obviously, depend on the tasks that are at hand, but... It's also like another little eco-friendly way. It's like a treasure hunt and it's all these little different things. But once upon a time, you know, I was hunting those out, seeking those out. Um, Back then, people would call themselves, you know, bounty hunters and all that good stuff. And quite as kept, you know, I was getting, you know, certain coins that did have some value. Obviously, some coins, you know, weren't anything or probably just, you know, exploded. Um... Yeah, I mean, exploded in a good way. I mean, basically burned down. Um, so I'm looking over here. I'm seeing people talking about, you know, they got 15 bands, five bands. I'm seeing some, you know, some five figures on these particular airdrops. And I'm like, hold up here, Nelly. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, obviously, I haven't had that much of time to really kind of really kind of be all in because that's the one thing about the crypto space, man. Um, you can get lost in the sauce very quickly because there's so many different sectors within the realm and there's so many different ecosystems and blockchains to kind of play with. Um, and there's actually two of them that I've been really mainly focusing on. And it's so ironic. Those two particular ones are the ones that I'm be hunting for airdrops. And I'm like, OK, it's time to go ahead and get back into this obviously being at a better position now have a little bit more liquidity to play with here especially thanks to um solana doing what it did Uh, i think currently right now my position is pretty much close to being up 5x from obviously where i started and that was only off a what a two band position Obviously, if I had more, oh my goodness, uh, I might be recording this podcast from a different place if I was in that position. But nonetheless, 
I said, oh, there's opportunities. These opportunities are actually right now. Um, some of them in pretty soon. So there's going to be a lot of different projects and names. I'm going to be dropping here, platforms. As far as deep dive into each single one of them, definitely we'll have to make future episodes of all those different ones because I would say I'm going to name... I'm going to name some, or I should, I'll probably name all the different platforms, like, I, like I've said, that I've came across on Twitter and X and seeing people mentioning and talking about, especially on the Solana side, the Solana ecosystem, because uh, Cosmos here, uh, that's another one. Um, obviously, that's a blockchain of ecosystems. Uh, that's another particular ecosystem that I'll be taking my airdrop hunting gear and going over that platform and doing the same thing here. So as far as the wash, rinse, repeat that particular strategy, you'll probably see me doing it across these uh, these particular platforms here. But nonetheless, I'm just going to drop a couple of uh, Solana projects here for you guys to be on the lookout here for start using um again some of these have air drops some of them are i think not i think maybe one or two might not be confirmed yet but for the most part uh they're pretty much confirmed as far as jupiter goes uh the jupiter platform which is a dex decentralized exchange where yes you can swap Trade perpetuals and uh, what's it called? Use limit orders, DCA, some nice little features on there. Their airdrop is still ongoing. I believe uh, phase one of the snapshot might have just been snapped. And uh, I read and saw that there's two more snapshots that are supposed to be taking place. So... As far as how to basically kind of participate in that particular platform's airdrop, uh, you basically obviously got to use it, have that volume on there, trading volume, swap volume, pretty much any volume that you're going to be using on that particular platform. Obviously, before I even dive any further into these platforms and stuff like that, highly recommend you guys have a solana based wallet and also a cosmos based wallet as far as solana goes you got phantom uh, you got something was it soul scan there's a couple that you could choose from um obviously the one i use majority of the time is phantom i mean i just feel like that's just kind of like the easiest one and i've been on the solana what, blockchain now for uh, what give or take about what probably like maybe two going on three years uh that's like the main like i said the main wall i use i know i have used i think it was called soul flare before um but like i said just for me phantom just kind of works the best so again you're going to definitely need one of those particular wallets to operate here um so that's one again jupiter finance Another one that you're going to want to be using and obviously all these platforms I'm be talking about here are going to definitely be on my rotation. Another one that we have is Drift Protocol. That's another one, again, that you're going to want to get yourself familiarized, start using that one. Oh, yeah. By the way, heads up, um, depending on your location some of these particular platforms you know might not necessarily work where you're located so again um definitely going to do your research i know it's it's a little bit frustrating too uh especially being a citizen out here in the states uh just the jurisdiction and restrictions man are kind of annoying definitely like i said definitely want to find a crypto haven uh, where definitely won't have to deal with this because, um, again, not being able to participate on these particular platforms, lose out on opportunities, right? 
And that's something that obviously sometimes that hurts. Um, so again, Drift Pro call, that one right there. Uh, that's an open source decentralized exchange that's also built on the Solana blockchain. Enables your transparent uh, plus non-custodial trading on crypto. And uh, they have perpetual swaps, spot margin trading. You can earn some yield. Um, and they also have borrowing and lending. So again, you have some nice suites of uh, tools of DeFi and all that good stuff. And again, the, the DeFi world, I'm, it looks like we're going to be back in it. Oh, it's been, it's been a minute. And another one, Marinade staking protocol built on Solana. I feel like... I feel like I've either seen this platform before, maybe participated on it, did something. I don't know. I know when I first got on to Solana, I feel like Radium and Orca were probably like the two platforms that I used the most, which I think that kind of helped me uh, be part of the Jupiter airdrop because I was checking something. I had seen that actually got some, some rewards off that, which again, I didn't even know about it. Um, and it's kind of, that's the kind of funny thing about crypto. Sometimes when you're transacting on these different platforms, depending on obviously which blockchain you're on, you actually might be participating within the airdrop and you don't even know it. Um, cause all of a sudden, you know, you start to see coins that just randomly drop into your wallet. You're like, yo, what the heck is this? Speaking of coins, just randomly drop into your wallet. I think Bunk, uh, that's one. I think I feel like I missed the train on that. I think I might have sold a little too early before that train went ahead and took off. But again, sometimes, you know, when you don't know, you just see random tokens being dropped into your wallet. Sometimes you think the scam and some other things, because again, depending on your experience in the space, you've seen goods and bads. Uh, MarginFi, another platform that's going to be in rotation, decentralized lending protocol on Solana, prioritizing risk management and providing a safe and easy solution solution for users that want to, you know, partake in some leverage. They also have a lending and borrowing, nice little referral program, referral system to help you earn some points, part of their airdrop. Um, but again, those are just a couple. You got, what is it? I think it's hopefully I'm pronouncing this correctly here. It's Komodo Finance. Uh, oh, not Komodo. Excuse me. Ooh, my bad. Camino. I don't know what I was looking at. Camino Finance. Uh, that's another platform. Pretty much has all the, the same things that some of these other platforms and DEXs and stuff like that. Zeta is another one. Zeta Markets where you can go ahead and trade. Uh, but again, all these different platforms going to be heavily in rotation for me. One that's going to be in, ending pretty soon here. Uh, it's going to be Marinade. That's the one I'm probably going to be trying to attack the most right now for the time constraint. Fortunately, I'm waiting on my Solana to unstake for my Exodus wallet because um, I didn't realize that there were so many other opportunities and ways to use your crypto that you're staking. Um, some of those, you know, assets that are really just not doing too much. I mean, obviously they're, they're earning obviously. Um, cause otherwise why would I be trying to build those particular accounts? Um, but even though while they're idle, you can actually take some of these opportunities to do what they call liquid staking, which I've kind of discovered here in the last couple of days uh, where you can basically obviously stake that native token and then use this token that's associated to that token and go play in the DeFi world and still be able to obviously collect rewards off staking, but then also maximize your capital opportunities in different ways through DeFi. So, probably throwing out maybe some terms and terminology depending on your knowledge some of this you might be like yo what are you talking about again not to fail um i will have like i said a lot of uh content coming out 
across my different platforms because again, it seems now have a little bit more, I would say almost a little bit more time to kind of get my hands on some of these ops here because there was a time and point where I was trying to figure out some ways of to enter back into the particular market. But obviously, like I said, I'm a fan of trading, but obviously seeing all these centralized exchanges pretty much get burned to the ground, um, you know, scam after scam, lawsuit, this, that, and the other. It was kind of, uh, it's kind of wavering a little bit trying to figure out like, man, I want to trade, but where do I want to trade at? And not just that, I want to also have some leverage options. Um, so now, and not just that, I want to make sure the fees are low. You know, the token I'm using is cheap because those, all those variables go into, come into play, especially when you're trying to, you know, keep track of your money, maximize it and all that good stuff. But with these exchanges that I've come across, um, definitely going to be moving some liquidity, um, spreading it out. Because again, like I said, I want to try to be able to participate in a couple of air drops simultaneously. And I'm just glad also to my soul was able to go ahead and create some profits. So now I'll be able to use some of those profits, move them around a little bit here, try to obviously multiply and capitalize and just even build up the bag even more that way. As far as Cosmos, again, same thing with them. Uh, that's going to be another chain that I'm going to be doing basically what you guys will be seeing me do on Solana. I will be basically copycatting that over there on Cosmos and doing the same thing, hunting for airdrops, opportunities. And as far as staking goes, uh, wow, got to say, I've been staking on Exodus Wallet and no complaints as far as the rewards that are coming back to me. It's been kind of nice because um, ideally with situations like this, having some of those staking rewards, being able to, you know, claim those on a daily basis, weekly basis, depending on obviously how much you are collecting and then going ahead and taking that, using that on the decks or whatever. Uh, accessibility is easy. Some of these platforms, uh, use them are actually easier than I thought. Um, but I know I'm saying that from a, what, probably from a advanced perspective, considering that I've toured around the market. So I'm trying to think other than that, y'all, Man, looking forward to the new year. Looking forward to what the market's going to do. I'm also actually, believe it or not, going to be setting up here some uh, meme coin portfolios as well. Uh, again, going to be spreading the wealth across different platforms in different ways. Again, when it comes to those, though, uh, always high risk. Those is, you know, how much money you might put in that. You got to be <laughs> prepared. Uh, it might not come back. So with those ones, I'll be very cautious with those. Obviously, the goal is to, you know, build up the Bitcoin bag, Solana bag, obviously, Ethereum, probably, uh, Cosmos, uh, but also at the same time, take part in some of these platforms really uh supercharge some of these aprs man because wow i was uh looking across the board at some of these aprs that you can earn right now and it's like man take advantage because you never know when a proposal might come about and i'm using this as an example for adam where you know they voted apy got cut i want to say the inflation got cut something as well uh, so, you know, sometimes those APRs and APYs, they do fluctuate, they do change depending on tokenomics and all that good stuff. Uh, so that's something I always try to keep in mind and I always try to take advantage early and, uh, just try to play with that. Cause obviously 
again, you are investing to those projects. Obviously, I'm not a financial advisor or anything like that. So always do your own research. But I feel like from at least my experience, Stakes has been pretty lucrative and definitely want to amplify that here in the next, what, 60 to 90 days, I should say. Uh, but that's going to really wrap it up this particular episode. I know that's probably like a, a lot to take in. I hate to tell y'all, but it's going to be a lot coming at y'all because now that I'm back in the swing of things, decided to go back into the crypto matrix oof, and seeing some of these different ops. Now I'm like, ooh. That drilling rush, got to feed that uh, frenzy here. So be on the lookout for a frenzy, I should say. Because uh, like I said, I still got to go over all these different platforms. And definitely be on the lookout for my YouTube channel. Because as far as being able to view and get a sense of what I'm talking about here. And obviously, definitely note, I'm going to have to probably make some guides here for those that might be new uh because the five world is a little bit different from the traditional trading but still once you get the hang of it it's like riding a bike you kind of don't forget and really excited to try to capitalize on some of these new little new little things that i've learned uh especially this liquid stake here uh being able to try to take advantage of you know two areas in the crypto space so that's gonna be fun but for those of you that have listened to this episode, I appreciate y'all listening through. Uh, like I said, if you guys are new to the channel or new to the podcast, welcome. Just be on the lookout for new episodes, probably some new videos as well, and just a whole lot of new everything because airdrop season is here i am hunting make sure you guys bring your wallets um as far as liquidity goes you know that's gonna be based on your personal finances but some say you don't need too much um obviously the more the better higher your chances all that good stuff but from what i've seen i've i would say people have turned you know a hundred dollars stuff like that into five figs six figs all that stuff but you know it's all about the time you got to put in here, folks. Well, that's going to do it for this particular episode. I am your host, the Wolf of Crypto. Y'all been listening to the Wolf of Crypto podcast. Y'all take it easy now. Peace.